Hey, it's Ivan here. In this video, I'm going to give you a review on Searchy, and this is an updated video in April 2023, where I'm going to share with you uh, one I have used Searchy and how I integrate it with System IO, and basically how I use Searchy in my business, because it's very important to understand the specific use cases that I have and why I don't recommend it for some other people, even though I'm a customer. So it's important to kind of get the context of it. So I'm going to cover a few things. Number one, how I use Searchy as a podcast platform, how I use it for serving my one-on-one -on -one clients, how I'm using it for my course videos, and also how I use it in my email marketing. So if that's of interest to you and how I use this Searchy for all of that stuff, stay tuned for this video. So number one, I originally moved to Searchy because I had a very important use case, which was probably about six months ago, I was getting really close to getting monetized on YouTube. So if you look at down this video, you'll see that I have you know certain amount of subscribers. And when you watch ads on my channel and you click on the ads and watch the ads and stuff like that, I get paid ad revenue by YouTube. That's one way that people who watch my videos for free on my channel can support me because I get paid by YouTube for the ads being watched basically. So in order to do that, YouTube actually manually reviews your channel before you can be approved for that. Now, before I got to the requirements for getting monetized on YouTube, I was using YouTube as a video hosting platform for my one-on-one -on -one clients. What I mean by that is when I did coaching sessions, free consults, building people's websites on Zoom, things along these lines, I had clients wanting to get a recording of the session. So I would record it on Zoom, upload it to YouTube, unlist it so it's only visible to them and I share with them the link. Now what happened is that I've done a lot of one-on-one -on -one calls over the last two, three years, and I had over 600 one-on-one -on -one calls which were uploaded to YouTube. And I knew that if YouTube is gonna come and review my channel to see if I qualify for monetization, it's gonna be really odd. Like, what are you using YouTube for? This is not quite the use case, okay? So what I did is I hired a virtual assistant and I told her, I said, could you download all the videos from YouTube so it's no longer on YouTube because it's just not quite the correct use case and upload it to Searchy. So that was, a very specific reason why I wanted to do that and why I signed up for Searchy. So it was nothing to do with the membership hub or any of the reasons why people would sign up for Searchy originally. It was actually purely as a video host. Now, it also upgraded the one-on-one -on -one experience with my clients because when you upload a video to Searchy, it's also, it's also transcribed and people can search inside the transcription. So there's a way to do that in YouTube as well, actually. I'll leave a video around here where you can check it out. But the point is that um, I didn't even know about that until recently. So Searchy was a good solution, increased the user experience and so on. And Searchy, it doesn't just act as a membership hub it actually acts as purely video hosting. So I could still share the unlisted link in Searchy with my clients privately, and they'll be able to watch the session that we did as well. So that was use case number one. So I uploaded a lot of videos. Now, quick disclaimer for you on that experience. When you're on the highest plan of Searchy, they're telling you there is unlimited video up. That's not actually totally true. Like when I was up moving 600 plus videos, I mean, I was consuming a lot of data and they basically put a limit of 100 hours per month. I think they gave me like uh, maybe 50 hours extra, but I actually had to pay extra on top of the unlimited plan in order to move everything at the speed that I wanted. So yes, I could have done 100 hours, 100 hours, 100 hours over five, six months, but because I was on a time crunch to actually move everything over, I had to pay Searchy extra money to use the upload. Uh, so you're not gonna need 100 hour uploads probably, but just so you're aware, if you are doing a massive migration, it will cost you more besides the unlimited plan. Just a little info. Anyway, so that's that. Second use case. So I use system.io for my online course, my membership and all that stuff. I've got multiple online courses. I got a membership, two memberships, and system is my go-to platform for funnels, email marketing, course um, platform, membership site, all that stuff. Now, their video hosting is not fantastic. I mean, it's okay, but it's just a video host. It's very, very basic. Now, I wanted to have the searchability option, so I use Searchy. So when I have course videos, just specifically in my business, I've got two types of videos, public videos, which is what you see in YouTube, and private videos, which is what you see I posted on Searchy. So I have, um, I basically embed the code 
from Searchy as a video host inside system. So when people pay for my course, they don't get access to my Searchy videos. They get access to my system IO platform, to the course area. The logins is all generated from system. But when they go to the lesson, I have the text, the headline, all that stuff, and a video is is embedded and the video is actually hosted on Searchy. So that's how I have my courses set up. Sometimes I also have YouTube because some of my videos are publicly available. So depending on what the video is about, okay? Now, that's use case number two. So I do use Searchy for my courses and video hosting for my courses, but I don't use the hub in Searchy for it. I simply embed it in my platform, which is something that you can do. Let's say you're using Thrivecart or Thrive Learn. That's a good use case to actually embed Searchy videos as an example or if you're using system, that's also a good use case. So that's how I use it. Additionally, in Searchy, you have the ability to create playlists based on the certain videos. So what I really like also is because let's say I have um, a course on virtual assistants as one example. I've got a course on YouTube SEO. I've got a course on uh, project management called Blue. So with the YouTube SEO course, I can give people access to the lessons, but I also give them an option if they want to just binge all the videos in one go instead of going through the lessons one by one, I give them a playlist, which is a link from Searchy. So you can actually create playlists just like you have playlists on YouTube, you can create playlists on Searchy, okay? So that's the other thing. The other very good feature that um, Searchy still uh, helps me with is previously, as you remember, I used to upload my videos. I would do this one-on-one -on -one session on Zoom, download as an MP4 to my computer, and then upload it to YouTube. Now, Searchy has a direct integration with Zoom. So when I do a one-on-one -on -one session, group call or one-on-one -on -one call with on Zoom, it will automatically sync to my Searchy account. I click on render and it will automatically upload to my account. So that's another really good use case. Now, before I tell you about the last use case, which is podcast slash newsletter, I want to tell you about some future feature that's coming up. And this is something that's in beta at the moment and I'm hoping to get approved for it very soon. So hopefully I'll have it soon. And it's called Wisdom AI. Now, Wisdom AI is basically like a chatbot which is based on ChatGPT, which um, basically what that tool does, it's like having a chatbot. It's like human taking you, turning your knowledge and expertise into a chatbot. So basically you can grab a, a embed code from Searchy, put it on your site and people can type a question just like they're talking to a, to a, a chatbot. And the answers are pulled from your Searchy videos. So the more information you upload to your Searchy account, the smarter, the more intelligent, the more knowledgeable the chatbot is. So just like you'd go to ChatGPT and you type a question and you will scour, scour the whole web or whatever, instead of that, the Wisdom AI doesn't scour the whole web, it scours your content. So basically they're learning from you, okay? That's what Wisdom AI is. Very, very cool little feature. Hopefully I'll have it soon on my channel or on my website and uh, people will have access to it uh, if they're in my membership. So that's that, that's Wisdom AI. Now, I want to tell you about the last use case, which is a use case that's applicable to me because I do a lot of email marketing. And I had a really intelligent advice from one of my um, dear uh, tech support members. And he suggested to me, he said, look, your emails are really good. I love reading your emails, but I don't like reading in general. I would love to just listen to them. So I thought, what a great idea. So what I've done is I've created a really good high quality emails. And for example, I talked about my YouTube uh, monetization strategies, content creation and monetization strategies. I talked about my seven proven strategies to find customers and I wrote very high quality emails. You can actually go and find those emails if you go to .comtruthsblog.com and you'll be able to enter your name and email and get access to those old newsletters that I've written, which were extremely high quality. Now, additionally, what I've done is when I wrote those emails, I actually used the searchy um, Chrome extension, basically, which is very similar to Loom. And what it does is when you record a video with the Chrome extension of Searchy, it will automatically go to your Searchy account. That's the only difference. So it's not as good as Loom, but it, it works basically. So what I do is I write the email and it's a long email, thousand words, 2000 words, whatever. And then I will share my screen or just do a recording like I'm doing right now. And I would actually read the email basically. And that's, what I do now, then what I do is because it renders straight to my search account, I then grab the link and link it in my top of my email. And I say, Hey, if you want to listen to the email or watch it, click here. And it will take them to a video where I actually read out the entire email. So those that are on the go could do that. Now, what the other thing that I did is I took that video, that newsletter that I've written, and I create a playlist out of it. Now that playlist 
I can get a code which is specific for podcasts and I grab that code and I paste it into my private podcasts software. Now, the one that I use specifically, it's something that I actually bought as a lifetime deal with AppSumo, so I'm not going to even bother telling you the name because it's not something you can actually get anymore. Um, if I was to start over and I didn't have that particular software available to me, I probably would have used a software called Hello Audio, which I'll link somewhere below or somewhere around here for you to check out. Um, it's a very affordable um, private podcast software. And that's what I would have used if I didn't have a lifetime deal. So anyway, I do have a lifetime deal, so I'm kind of lucky like that. But what happens is people can actually get a private podcast and listen to my newsletters on the go as an actual podcast. So they get a video option, audio option, and written option, and a blog option for all my newsletters. And not just the current newsletters, but past high-quality newsletters. I don't do it with all my newsletters. I only do it with the high-quality ones. So that's my use cases for Searchy. Newsletter recording, Disney Chrome extension, podcast video slash audio, YouTube video unlisted for my one-on-one -on -one clients, custom embed of training videos um, in System.io account, playlists, direct Zoom integration, and hopefully soon, Wisdom, .a, uh, Wisdom AI. So that's about it. Hopefully you got some um, context about how I use Searchy, why you use Searchy. Maybe it inspires you on how you should use it. If you're looking to check out Searchy, I will leave the, my affiliate link somewhere around here. You can just go to around.link forward slash Searchy or check around here below this video. You'll be able to see it as well in the description or somewhere around here. That's about it. If you have another software review you want me to do on another tool, maybe a tool that I'm using, maybe a tool that I'm not using you want me to look into, definitely let me know. Leave a comment for me below. And if you did get value from this video, please leave uh, some comment below with the word value. I really appreciate it. If you can uh, hit the subscribe button and give me a like, that just helps me grow my channel, get this video and my content to as many people as possible. And like I said, I get paid by YouTube to create free videos. So um, your, your uh, engagement helps me to continue to create free content like that. That's about it. Thanks a lot for watching. Really appreciate you. Speak to you soon. Cheers.